We are going to compare these four measures of test performance by filling in a sample table and then making several adjustments to it. To begin with, we will use data that would be consistent with a coin toss, in which case the test would only have a 50% chance of being correct. Even with a simple coin toss, the false discovery rate can be low if the prevalence of the disease is very high. In this scenario, there are many more people with the condition that will test positive by chance than there are people without the condition who will also test positive by chance. Thus, the majority of positive tests would indeed be correct, and consequently the false discovery rate would be low. So despite only being a guess, the majority of positive test results would indeed identify a person with a condition. Likewise, the false emission rate in this cohort would indeed be high because the majority of people with a negative test would actually have the condition. Increasing the sensitivity of the test would increase the proportion of positive tests that are correct and decrease the proportion of negative tests that are incorrect, thus lowering both the false discovery rate and the false emission rate respectively. Increasing the specificity of the test would decrease the proportion of positive tests that are incorrect and increase the proportion of negative tests that are correct, thus further lowering both the false discovery rate and the false emission rate respectively. Lastly, lowering the prevalence of the condition would increase the number of people without the condition both to test positive and negative. The greater number of false positives would increase the false discovery rate, whereas the greater number of true negatives would decrease the false emission rate. So as to quickly recap the main points, a higher prevalence is correlated with a higher false emission rate, whereas a lower prevalence is correlated with a higher false discovery rate. And the greater the sensitivity and the specificity of the test, then the lower the false discovery and false emission rates.